Now, we're going to talk about Old Joe. This is one of the few films that I brought with me to rehab. Not literally talking in the um, metaphysical sense, if that makes any sense. Um, no, uh, they were really, I want to say loose, like relaxed, um, chill with what we were allowed to watch in rehab. And a lot of people, um, a lot of the people that were the patients, the patients, Okay, I finally got turned out enough. I gotta make, I gotta make sure. Can you hear me? I'm, I'm narcissistic. I gotta make sure you're, you're able to hear me. Okay, good. Um, no, in rehab, they had a weird thing where we could watch whatever the fuck we wanted. After all the classes, whatever you want to call them, were done. The um, AA meetings, all that shit. Um, I'm not going to name the name of the place. It was a good place. I liked it. I just couldn't let home go. I had to keep running back. You know, I kept thinking about my cats and this and that. and uh, But I like the idea of it. Um, I liked having a structure, a routine. You wake up, you eat breakfast. It was kind of like being back in high school. Or elementary school or... That's basically what it was. Um, but you were in a motel room. But yeah, we we go throughout the day, have our classes, have the meetings. Everybody would let out whatever they had on their mind, and. Then it would be movie night, which would basically be a free-for-all. And we had all sorts of crazy shit. Um, one guy stepped out. One guy tapped out. He was like, I'm not watching movies with you motherfuckers. He had a good reason for it. Uh, because one of the movies was Wolf of Wall Street, which is a great film. But not a film that addicts should be watching or have access to. Because there are certain elements of it that glorify... I don't, wanna, I, I don't know if I want to say glorify. There's certain elements of it that bring those feelings. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? It's a great movie. I love it. But it's not a movie that you want in rehab. When you're trying to get away from that kind of stuff. So I understood his perspective of being like, what the fuck is this doing here? I'm walking away. Don't ever ask me to come into this room while you're watching it. <laughs> and we watched that movie on repeat, like, nonstop. <laughs> it was one of the few. I was... I was the movie guy. Um... <coughs> I was the movie guy. I was... The one who... The annoying one. Like, nobody wanted to watch what I wanted to watch. 
But I feel like I want to say 80% of the time they ended up loving what I picked. There were a few clunkers. There was um, Crawl. I picked Crawl. The alligator movie, the killer alligator movie. Um, I think it was produced by Sam Raimi. They all hated it and laughed it, laughed it out of the room. Literally, everybody left the room. And I just sat there and watched it. And I had a good time. I didn't care. But yeah, it was weird that they did. It's weird that people. People are different. It's weird that they didn't like that movie. Because I thought it was great. Um, yeah, and there's killer clowns from outer space. Me and... Um, there was a, like a meth head chick that sat there and watched it. We had a good time. And I'm trying to think of all the movies we've watched, or all the all the ones that I recommended. Um, Joe was a big one, but there, I'm getting to Joe. Give it time. Doctor Sleep, Doctor Sleep was a big one. I wanted that motherfucker in there. I was like, hey, if we're going to watch Wolf of fucking Wall Street, Dr. Sleep needs to be in this bitch now. And we watched it, and everybody fucking loved it. I nailed that one. I was proud of that. I gave myself a, a little pat on the back. And I felt really good about myself, because everybody liked that movie. Um... Joe was a weird one. Joe... There was a couple people that were really into it. Most people didn't stick around to watch it. Um, but there were... There were some people that were into it. And... I guess it depends on where you come from. Maybe. Maybe. You know, it's a hillbilly movie. It's all about where you live. Maybe you live in the middle of nowhere. Maybe you're used to... Just doing fucking... Hard work. Hard work is the way I'd explain it. And, you know... You're only worth a fuck if you do hard work. Uh, the villains are bad. The villains are shit. There's only really one... Well, no. Technically, there's two villains. Um, one is kind of worthless. He doesn't do anything. The second one is also worthless, and he doesn't do anything. Joe is, I think the interesting thing about this movie is that Joe, played by Nicolas Cage, could easily be one of these villains. I think that's the point of the movie, is that he could just as easily be one of these scumbags. But he chooses to work. You can tell I'm really good at reviewing movies. Well, I'll tell you what. I might not be good at reviewing movies, but fucking... If it wasn't for me in rehab, we would have been watching... The Fast and the Furious fucking goes to outer space and bullshit like that. So I like to think that I put a stop to that and contributed. 